Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is December 28th, 2021, and this is going to be the last update for the Pepper series of 2021. I mentioned previously that uh, the last video was the last video, but the weather has been so good and uh, it's still nice today, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are still getting lots and lots of peppers. Uh, a lot of the green ones finally ripen up. So we're going to do a, some harvesting today. So first we are going to start with the Kangstar Peach Pumpkin. These were supposed to be ready by Halloween, but I started them a little late. So they're finally ready. These are really tasty peppers. They look awesome and they're great to carve into faces for Halloweens and stuff like that. So they're just amazing peppers. And there are lots of them right now. So I need to do a lot of picking today. And next we have the Kangstar Queenie. This plant is just ridiculous. Very nice and sweet peppers all through the season. And uh, right now everything is red. So um, a lot of these are gonna go to seed. So look at that, They're very small pepper uh, and uh, very productive. And I actually took um, seeds from this and planted inside. So I'll have some for the winter. And then here we have the sweet Linzo. These are just such great peppers, guys. I, I love coming out here and just picking them and just eat them. Mmm, very nice and sweet. There's a, a little hint of, uh, of heat, but not very much. Great flavor. So it's good for, um, work, you know, eating it while you work. So, um... Very cool pepper variety, nice and tasty. Next we have the Stargazer. Finally picked most of these off. This plant was so productive. And um, I gave some of these uh, on the last giveaway. Uh, they're very nice pepper, tastes great as well. And uh, I just love the way they look and uh, how productive they are. Just a great variety to grow. And here we have the, the Houston white tie. Uh, it's basically the end for, for those guys, so they're not looking very good. Then we have the lemon starburst, same thing, not looking very good. Uh, leaves are starting to fall off. Uh, the rest of the pods I need to pick. And I have another sweet Linzo here. Look at how beautiful those are. I'm gonna grow a bunch of these next year because they're they taste pretty good and then we have some uh, purple or pink tiger in there it's just a, a small pepper just hidden in there my habanero been it's been a great season for these guys even though it's grown in this little flimsy bag it produced a ton of pods and I use uh, some of these to make hot sauce and they're just so good. Look at these. So I still have a few to pick. The Kingstar White High is starting to uh, just die off as well. So I picked most of those already. So that today I'm going to pick the rest because this weekend is going to drop to 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we have the Jay's Peach Ghost crossed with a Primo. And this guy, these guys are really, really spicy. I just love um, the way they look as well. Very interesting peppers. I think they look beautiful as well. Look at that. And some of these here, these are my favorite shapes right here. Has like some hooks. Look at those. I'm going to collect seeds for those and then grow it again next year. And we have some orange flames. Those are still doing great. Have lots of pots left. And then the yellow flame, which is the cousin of it. And here are some of the Linzo crosses. These are great as fresh eating. 
very very productive i i put i put him under the patio because uh, it, it was cold a, a few weeks ago and uh, they just remained here and then this week is going to drop to the 20s i'm going to keep them here and see if they will survive and some more of the linzo crosses here these are really neat they're chocolate and uh, they're very productive look at this they're pretty spicy as well and the stargazer gold here it finally turned red i call it gold because uh, once they are at the optimal best flavor and taste they're the golden color and they look really really beautiful and then at the end it takes a while for them to turn red so here's the stage where they're starting to change the gold color and then this is the crisscross made by chris from norway it's at the end of the season lots and lots of pod i picked a bunch of these i'm having trouble with getting seeds out of these they're, they're most of them are not viable i think i got a few but I think um, I'll collect some from these and see. Okay, here is uh, two lemon starburst in containers. They're just um, basically dying off as well. They turn white when you, when you wait too long and you don't harvest them. And here we have Lingrius. I love these things. Super productive, lots and lots of pods. I just can't pick them all. And here are some chocolate star screen. These are pretty much overripe. Some more Linzo crosses. These are the white tie cross, the starling. I took seeds for these and I grow them inside. I grew them inside and they're so nice. Super productive, look very pretty. Tastes pretty spicy too. And then here, these are some other linzo crosses very productive and it's also dying off because the leaves are starting to change color i stopped fertilizing so um this this is probably it for them and here is the kingstar niwaki these are awesome guys look they grow in little bundles like this and super super productive pods everywhere and like they have a bundle here they have pods and in another bundle they have pods and so they just grow everywhere <laughs> look at that okay here is the late raised bed of the peach darkest and the scarlet rose they finally ripen up look at this beautiful this peach darkest exact shape that i like and the pods are starting to ripen up and uh, Look at this one, showing nice colors. And then the Scarlet Rose right over here, which is the cousin to, to that and the Lemon Starburst. So I got, I'm getting lots of these, finally. Took forever because I started them so late. And then just the regular ghosts over there. Okay, and lastly we have my Super Pekins. And I picked most of the pods off of these already. So uh, these are really, really neat peppers. I post a bunch of pictures on Instagram and Facebook, so you guys should go there and check it out. These are just awesome. They're, they're, they're tiny, like very small, but they're like super crazy hot, like little tiny dynamites. So they're, they're interesting. And these are the... Uh, cross with the hornet so they look a little like the hornet look at that so they're they're very spicy for being so small and see the pods are starting to, to be ready so that is pretty much it for this season guys i hope you enjoy following through and uh, we will be starting seeds very soon maybe in late january i'm going to start earlier this year than last year so uh, we will have a new season or grow series coming up. Thank you so much for watching and happy new year. Okay, here's what I picked so far. We have a lot left. These are just a few of the, the plants. So I have these are, these are the uh, orange flames. Here are the yellow flames. And the stargazer are the red ones over here. And then we have the peach pumpkin 